Hi, welcome back. Another important session. IDA customer master data transfer from one SAP system to another SAP system. For this, as I said that previously, BD64 ALE configuration needs to be done, port creation, RFC destination, and all those stuff. So, if you look at here, previously we have seen BD10 for material. Now, we're going to see BD12 for customer. Okay, this starts with BD series. Don't worry about this one. So let's try to check an SAP system quickly. This is BD12, okay? Let's try to, okay, slash n VA03. Let me take one customer. So, or this one, this is hybrid sales order. So let's try to move this customer. Okay, 24 and ends with 24 and 29. Uh, let's try to concentrate on SAP system slash and BD12. Okay, let's take this customer. So what is this? Previously it is mat mass. Now it is deb mass. Okay, see why I'm doing separate videos so that you know you guys can able to concentrate separately and don't confuse. If you tell something wrong in interview, you're gone for small, small things. Okay, you take the same logical system if you know or else run. This you try in your practice system. If I already set up by any technical consultants, you'll get some idea. Okay, just for uh, uh, remembrance, one master data IDOC generated. So this for this no communication setup. Let's try to take sale. Okay, so let's run for everything. See 19 communications got set up for this. Okay, this is how you can able to transfer. Let's try to transfer for one more. Let's try to give our logical system. Let's see this. No setup, then uh, <clears throat> you get a zero communication message, then it is not moved actually. But if you run for everything, it will go just like that. Okay, auto generation. This is how we have to transfer your customer also. Most important for functional consultants, remember this transaction codes, okay? If you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe my channel. This is my Udemy course, uh, courses available, SD, and uh, around 19 courses available. In that, you know, recently I have done real-time IDOC training for SAP consultants. In this, I specifically covered three, three business scenarios, practicals I'm telling. So source A system to B system, how we can able to generate PO that by using vendor, okay? And uh, I have created another uh, uh, same thing, uh, by using orders IDOC from A system to B system orders, how it will be converted into the uh, purchase order information by using purchase order information, how it will be converted into the sales order that also I have explained and third by using SD side outbound. So I have generated order acknowledgement. Okay, for receiving this uh, PO and sales uh, PO information sales order created. So this is how uh, like, you know, I have used NACE output type and uh, order SP and uh, orders I have used for two scenarios. Initial scenario with vendor, I have done outbound from vendor system. If anything is moving, just wanted to give you that confidence before getting into the actual scenario at the second scenario by using orders, PO information to create a sales order. Just try this course, 100% it will be helpful to you. If you want one more course is there, getting master to write functional specification. I'm providing all these links below of this video. Whichever you like it, you go ahead. If you are a beginner, then definitely go for some two, three courses, 100%. It will have a difference, okay, when you try to do this one. So that's all. Let's catch up in next session for vendor. Thank you. Have a great day.